Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we're here in the dog run in my yard here in Zoodesia Zoo! And it actually looks like Ash and who is this? Who is this? Ash and Tate were fighting over that bone a little bit so that was kind of adorable. They were sort of having a little tug of war going on down there but I hope you guys are all having an amazing day! Yesterday was so much fun to show you all of the projects that we are going to be working on in the future and today I thought it would be really fun to swing over and glance at Mushroom Island and maybe take a quick tour of that mountain in the background because that is in our own backyard. We are working on building up the zoo, on expanding all the pathways. I have another amazing addition to show you. I'm so excited. Maybe we'll go see the, the secret switchback path that I have finally built later today too. But I'm hoping to look at that. I'm hoping to explore the mountain. So I think today's just going to be a nice little exploring in our own backyard day so we can plan more future exhibits because your guys' ideas in the comments, oh my gosh, they've been fantastic. Fantastic! I'm so excited. We're gonna be adding so much to the zoo. It's just gonna be awesome. All right, puppies. I appear to have a yutsu fruit that kind of popped into my hand because our wonderful little Aki, <laughs> Aki dropped it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. And I was actually popping over so that we could check on the puppies. Iris, oh, she's chewing on the chew bone too. And how is everybody? <gasps> Look, we've got little Rex and Lassie, and here's Aspen and Ginger, and Copper and Fern, and Pine and Devin are just like enjoying themselves relaxing in front of the fireplace as usual. I really feel like Copper is extremely adventurous so I'm really hmm hmm I'm really thinking he's a little wolf with his mom's markings. I'm really you know and then there's little Rex and then there's Aspen. A lot of people want to keep Aspen. He is a very pretty dog and I think he's very close to his mom Devin so hmm We'll have to see. You're fun too, Rex, aren't you? You're a good little boy. Dear good little boy. There you go. There you go. Maybe you can grow up and be a little guard dog for the zoo. That's something he might be able to do. But all right. So yeah, we're just going to pop over. We're going to see Mushroom Island, which we haven't looked at in forever. And so it's been so long since we've glanced there. And we're also going to go over and just explore a little mountain to see what kind of exhibits might be suiting, like suitable for that area. A lot of you guys are like, Siri, do Arctic exhibits over there. And I'm not sure. There's a lot of like, you know, the mountain lion, a lot of bears, a lot of different mountain species or like species that are in more mountainous areas that we could probably put over there without making it a arctic exhibit but i'm not really sure where we're going to put the arctic exhibits in our zoo we might have to just start terraforming an area so there's a thought um i think today we're going to take alia with us so alia can come and lily and why not Zozo too? We're going to take Alia, Lily, and Zoe. Those are the, the ladies who are going to accompany us today. Oops, and there's no dog food in there. <gasps> Siri, what have I done? There's just like a couple biscuits rattling around in mostly empty bowls. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, ladies, don't panic. Okay. Um, well, apparently the first thing we're going to have to do is actually go get some dog food. Is that going to have to change up the plans for the day? It just might. All right, ladies, let's go get some dog food. We need to stop off. Well, actually, these apples would be good because we can trade the apples to uh, the guy who is running the doggy bakery. I bet he's so lonely. His sister needs to move in so she can, like, have the dogs in the doggy daycare again and train them. And we also need to just get some people in general showing up in the Village of Light because right now it's just poor Amber the baker. What Village of Light things would you guys like to see? show up again oh my gosh got stuck in my little mushroom stuck in my little mushroom seat all right i'm gonna go ahead hey milky way i really should take you oh my my orange orange come back to me orange oh well it's lost it's lost forever all right but yeah actually these apples we can trade to him oh darling darling take that take that kisses kisses for darling and bluebell i i do have more sugar for Bluebell because I went and I gathered up those sugar canes like I said I would whoops that's not the way to do it we shouldn't chuck I, I'm a bad host mother if I'm just chucking the sugar at her head so we're gonna give her the the sugar there you go Bluebell and then I'm gonna come over here we'll grab these apples put the cherries and yutsu and oranges away duck eggs we need to be very careful with because I do want to take those down to the egg research center um, all of the Spanish moss can be turned into string and I can store that for later. I also appear to have some soybeans. Can I use soybeans in? Oh, I can make salad with them and stock. That is so cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and press these ones. Oh, there's firm tofu in here. Good grief puppies. We're supposed to be like adventuring in the backyard and instead I'm like caught up trying to run around. Okay. 
Okay, Martha Jr. Or Martha the second, pardon me. I know you're not gonna be happy about this. She's really, she's already glaring at me. But I need to kind of take this and I need to take this and some of these. And if I have anything left over from getting dog food, I will bring it back. But I'm so sorry, we have a lot of dogs now. There's a lot of little puppies, more mouths to feed, these mouths to feed. Oh my gosh, that mouth to feed, there's dogs everywhere. Hey, Primrose. Oh, look at her. I just love the way she like stares out into the, the distance. Isn't it so pretty out there? I tell you guys what, adding all those trees really enhanced the view. I think Primrose is like, oh, it looks so much nicer. Probably going to put more cherry trees. You're right, Primrose, but we'll work on that. Give her a bunch of sugar too, so the girls are happy. All right, what else can we take to trade? So we can get a little bit more money because I can't believe we're that out of dog food. Sweet potatoes, I think, are something that he can turn into dog food. So we'll take all the sweet potatoes. Um, and I, that's it off the top of my head. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Apparently, we're doing a dog food run. And maybe we'll make it to Mushroom Island. <laughs> Oh, there's so much to do in the zoo. This is what chores are like. This is what taking care of a huge zoo with tons of animals is like. You just turn around and suddenly you're like, I really need to go take care of some other things. <gasps> Look at him! Darian, thank you! Woo! Diamonds! Woo! Look at this! Darian just chucked a bunch of diamonds at us and some iron because we came to visit with our dogs who happen to have the uh, puppy eyes traits. Darian, how are your trades doing? The usual trades is, as I see, sir, the coffee powder. One day I might, I might buy that. I don't know what I could use the coffee powder for. Maybe I can find out. Let's see, a little coffee powder. You can make vanilla coffee powder. Fascinating. All right, so you can, you can turn it into coffee and get night vision with coffee. What? That's kind of cool. We might, we might take you up on that someday, Darian. Though to be honest, I actually have this little amulet that was given to me by Ben, so we can shoot exploding arrows, dig big holes, and it gives us night vision when we're holding it. So I don't really need, don't really need to get any coffee. All right. There's the chickens, and we just have to walk up here. I'm gonna pick a couple pecans, because I just, I love pecans, they're so yummy. I'm gonna pick a couple raw pecans, just snack on them as we walk over. Wow, they don't make much of a filling snack, but that's because they're like a whole pecan. That's not a lot. And there we go. So down here is where the doggy bakery is. Two Paw Doggy Bakery. And James, so good to see you again, my friend. So good to see you again. I have brought you some apples because the more, oh, I should have brought him eggs. I totally forgot that he accepts eggs as well for his recipes for the gourmet dog food and dog biscuits that he happens to make. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll go ahead and trade a bunch of those. Oh, I might be able to bring back tons of money to Martha. She'll be very happy with me. All right, so let's just go ahead. Um, We'll do duck and sweet potato for a lot of our dogs. There's so many dogs to feed, so this is one of the most important things we can do. Come and do some trading for dog food. I'm just going to do tons of duck and sweet potato. We can't really splurge very much on some of the other stuff right now. Um... Um, let's see, pig ear, beef liver, some pig ears would be good for them, they do like pig ears. Okay, I'm gonna get some pig ears, which is a little, it looks similar to zombie jerky, but I promise you it's not entirely zombie jerky. Oh my goodness, today's apparently a puppy day. Alright, and then these dogs are doing okay. Alright, hi guys! Hi! Oh, you're trying to get away, aren't you? No, you need to stay in the daycare, please. It's very important, I'm gonna have you sent over to Twinbark Town soon enough. So let's go ahead, there we go. Make sure that the puppies are all safe. There we go. Those are some stray German Shepherds we collected from, <laughs> from around Pavo's house that we're gonna find homes for through Twinbark Town. So that's gonna be awesome. All right, ladies, I see that you're hungry. I have some pig ears. Oh, I have some wagging tails. Everybody knows when there's a treat out. There you go. All right, Lillian, you can stand up. There we go. So we've got a stack of dog food. <laughs> Oh goodness, I didn't know today was gonna end up like going that way. All right, and then we need to trade all of the zookeeper experience points that we have. And thank you, Amber. I wish there was a faster way to do this sometimes, but that's okay. There we go, ah, yay! So we get to take back some things to Martha the second. So hopefully she won't be so cranky at us. Also, what should we start doing over here? What, I mean it, like what things should we start adding in from the Village of Light again? Cause I would really like to see some of their old places show up. Like the little dove sanctuary we had, that would be so fun. What if it was a little temple this time? Like a little temple with a little, a little Daisy the priestess who is there and she like takes care of all the doves. That would be so cool. 
Oh, and there's Boulder! Boulder, one day it would be really cool to see if we could get you like a kid and like a little itty bitty no go no golem thing. Golem? I guess you're a golem. Yeah, a golem. <laughs> it would be so cool if we could get one and like call him Pebble. That would be really fun. All right, let's go ahead. Come over here. Woo! All right. Well, all right. Gotta go feed the dogs, and then we can at least make it to Mushroom Island today. Oh my goodness! Sorry about that. I thought we were gonna be adventuring in the backyard some more. Ooh, there's some fully ripe peppercorns on the ground here. Fascinating. Oh my goodness! Now I'm picking up some wheat. Goodness gracious, Aki! Everybody is just like I'm constantly cleaning up after everyone here. So messy, but I love them all. There we go. There you go, Martha. Darling! Ugh, sorry, I just like smacked you in the face with some wheat. It wasn't intentional. All right, let's come over here, put this away. Phew! All right, but I'm pretty excited about like some of the builds. I'm not sure how many exhibits we'll get done. We'll definitely work on the Asian forest exhibits. Uh, and now I need to turn around and get some food. Do I have any food in my backpack? Do I? Do I? I have some apples. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat these apples. They've probably been in my backpack for who knows how long. So I might as well eat them. And there we go. Phew. All right. Come on, ladies. Come on. I know. I know. We're going to come in and we're going to put some food in here. Ash is like, I'm hungry. I know, Ash. There you go, buddy. Now you've got some food in there. Oh my gosh, my poor dogs. I can't believe I was like nearly starving them. Oh my goodness. All right. So we'll put some food in there and then we'll come down here, put some food in here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, come in here. Oh, there's tons of food in here for them. All right, that's good. All right, Iris is checking out. Oh, there's more food over here too. Whew, good. So we're good on the food. Iris, who are you sniffing? Cooper? Hmm. Cooper's really like putting in his little two cents taggy waggy tailness to try to come and be a member of our zoo officially, I think, because he's very adventurous as a puppy, very curious about things. All right. Phew. All right. That chore is done. When we have more NPCs, it's going to be very interesting to do lots of trades and to take care of the animals on a bigger level. Like the fact that we need to feed the red wolves. It's been a long time since we've done that. Hey, Boulder. So what we're doing is we're going to run through the village because this is actually the fastest direction that we can hurry and get over here. And I really, have I really let the weeds get so overgrown in this village? My goodness, I need to come and tidy this place up. My gosh, I need to move the cows over here too. All right, come on puppies. And there's Mushroom Island! Through the village is how we get over here to Mushroom Island, where you can see the mushrooms are spawning aplenty. So we might as well harvest up some wild mushrooms as we wiggle our way over here to check out Mushroom Island. There's actually a not very well-defined, because it's a little spooky on both sides, path that comes over here to a bridge that will lead us to Mushroom Island! Ta-da! Look at it in all of its glory! Ta-da! And what Mushroom Island is, is we used to sell little clay figurines that I would make with my own two hands <laughs> and sell them through the Etsy. And then anyone who got a mushroom, all of the mushrooms are here. There's a little digital version of the mushrooms who are running around, like Carl and Captain Birch's mushroom. There's mushrooms everywhere. There's a whole bunch of them here on this little island. And they, Lily, I love you. I don't know how you manage that, Lily, but I hope you're comfortable. Hi, Captain Birch's mushroom. Mushroom even. Oh my goodness. And there is Pearl. Here's Pearl. Oh, it's so fun. So there are little real life like accompaniments to each and every one of these mushrooms. And you are Pix. Pix even. Pix. Oh, this is so fun. It's been forever since I've been to Mushroom Island. <gasps> Look at these mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I don't remember these mushrooms. Oh, they're so cool looking. And that actually reminds me, someone suggested that for our little hidden hidden cave area that we have over by the zoo entrance, what we should do in the hidden cave area is we should actually go ahead and put some mushrooms, some glowing mushrooms in there. Like the hidden cave area that's right past the entrance there. Oh, that's so much fun. But this is Mushroom Island and it has been forever since we've been up here. Hello, all my little mushrooms. How are you guys? Sammy's mushroom. There's Tim. I remember Tim. There's M Mulinda. Oh, this is just, I love the names. There's more mushrooms over there. The place is lit up with a healthy population of glowworms. Ooh, and there's some wild apples growing on the side of the mountain over here. The only other time I've been to this mountain is when I built this little tiny bridge. And that was when we first moved here, Lily. So that was like almost 200 days ago. That's so amazing. All right, I'm going to harvest up some wild mushrooms from Mushroom Island. I feel like there should be 
Captain Birch's mushrooms just running around. That's adorable. I feel like there should be some sort of little, like, maybe sky cafe. Okay, puppies, be careful. Lily, be careful. We're near the edge. But there should be some sort of sky cafe that maybe is in, like, the branches of the trees over here. Or maybe another floating island. Or, I know, it could be on, like, we could have a cafe in this mountainside. Like, you can walk up from, like, the village of Zomberry Village. And you can come up into the mountain. And there'll be, like, a cafe that's sort of sticking out right here. Like, a big balcony. And over here, we would sell all sorts of, like, mushroom-related things. And you could look at the mushrooms on the Mushroom Island Preserve. Which needs to grow. Because the goal is to have the, the floating island grow as the mushrooms grow. And to even have, like, pathways or bridges connecting more floating islands that kind of just start spanning all over the area so that would be really fun so yeah mushroom island yay it's been forever since we've been over here the mushrooms are all very well behaved okay lily you, you're also well behaved so you can start moving again all right should i really do this maybe not we're gonna be careful i just i get so excited about mushroom collecting i really do so the other idea i have is that maybe like what we could do is take all of the mushrooms and you can do different things with the mushrooms turn them into different kinds of meals but imagine if it was like renamed so it would be like um you know some sort of gourmet mushroom risotto or maybe like what are some really cool mushroom names oh that would just be so fun or like just selling more mushrooms and we could be like this is the lion's ear mushroom this is like the other fancy kind of mushroom whatever delicious fancy like portobello mushrooms i think there's actually portobello now that i say it Port, port, pot, port. Yeah, there it is. Portobello right here. Portobello mushrooms. <laughs> so we could sell mushrooms in a little mushroom cafe. And it could be like a really expensive, fancy restaurant that you could go eat at. Oh, so many ideas. So many things to do. So many things to do, you guys. But all right, I'm going to pick a few more mushrooms because these little gardens spread. So if you only like come down and you're like, okay, I'm just going to collect these two then these two will help the gardens, like they'll grow and they'll spread over time. So you can come back and have kind of a casual renewable source of mushrooms. But I'm going to gather those up and then I will meet you guys across the bridge tomorrow for the grand expedition into our own backyard. I'm really excited. I have no idea what's going to be over there. So this is going to be a lot of fun and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye.